income tax so why do government tax the people what is the purpose of the tax so tax is generating revenue to the government so in some of the uh, middle east countries oil is the main source of uh, revenue for the uh, government over there so the government is generating lot of revenue over oil so uh, the uh, petroleum generating countries most of the middle east countries do not uh, uh, impose taxes on their people but of late uh, the uh, middle east countries are also uh, uh, feeling the pinch uh, whenever oil prices are going down therefore they have also started uh, implementing vat so having said that so tax is uh, one of the important uh, revenue generating avenue for the government so income tax uh, in india so income tax is also a source of revenue generation avenue for the government so tax is a fee charged by government on a product income or the activity so tax is the fee charged by the government which are either on the product or income or the activity with the emergence of welfare states and constitutional governments in most of the part of the world taxes are seen as a major source of revenue for public expenditure so the uh, revenue which is generated from uh, tax is the main source of revenue mm -hmm. is the main source for uh, uh, building the public infrastructure uh, for example uh, roads uh, dams schools hospitals all these are uh, built by the uh, tax payers money only and income tax is very uh, important uh, stream of revenue in public finance theory this is known as public provision of social goods so uh, it, uh, this is very important uh, in the tax is very important for uh, improving the public infrastructure the basic source of income tax law and power to tax therefore emanates from the constitution so which is empowering the uh, government to levy tax it is a constitution by virtue of the constitution only uh, the government is having the power to tax the people so income tax is uh, one of the major source of revenue generating avenues so if you just see the statistics uh, prior to 1990 indirect taxes were the major constituent of the revenue for the government post 1990 the share of indirect taxes started reducing and the uh, share of income tax uh, started uh, going up shooting up so now uh, if you uh, just see the uh, entire uh, income of the government the majority would be coming from the uh income tax and the direct taxes only the second place goes to indirect taxes so and in particular uh, with regard to income tax of india uh, the uh, Uh, majority the main uh, revenue in, uh, is coming from the salaried class only so salaried class is one of the highly taxed uh, uh, people and therefore the major source of revenue generation in the income tax uh, uh, area itself is from the uh, salaried class only predominantly from the salaried class next before gst seven schedule of article 246 of the constitution contains central or union list so there are three type of list within the uh, constitution so seven schedule of article 246 of the constitution contains central or union list list two state list list three concurrent list central or union list so comprises of entries over which the union or the central government has exclusive power to legislate so there are certain areas where only the central government has exclusive power to legislate only the central government can frame the laws with regard to those list that is called the central list or union list so these are all areas of great importance for example let us uh, say for in instance um uh, defense so defense with regard to defense only central government has the exclusive power to legislate exclusive power to spend all these are all with the um, central government only so uh, the uh, defense is exclusively an area which is under the control of central government so the central or union list would comprise of entries over which the union or the central government has exclusive powers to legislate exclusive power means only central government can uh, frame the legislation uh, legislation not the state government what about list to do it is the state list with regard to state list 
comprises of entries over which the state government has a, a exclusive power to legislate for example the local administration so the local administration is only within the hands of the uh, state list so only the state government can frame a laws with regard to those areas so comprises of entries over which the state government has exclusive power to legislate and next is concurrent list so concurrent list is uh, the those list where the central government as well as the state government has has power to legislate so the state first list list number 1 is the union list or the central list where only the uh, central government has the power to legislate list 2 is the state list uh, that is only those entries where exclusively the state government has uh, exclusive power to legislate now list 3 is the concurrent list the concurrent list is the list uh, where the both the central and the state government uh, can uh, uh, have the power to legislate so this was the uh, constitution framework now with the advent of gst what happens on the same product both central government as well as the state government is imposing their taxes for example on the same product you will find sgst plus cgst break up so sgst goes to the central uh, sgst state uh, gst and cgst is the central gst state gst goes to the state government central gst goes to the central government so on the same amount of pro on the same product the two break ups are there one revenue goes to the state government other revenue goes to the central government so this is the deviation of the gst so uh, after the advent of gst on the same product both the central as well as the state government are concurrently simultaneously levying the taxes that is why before gst was implemented the constitution was required to be amended this is the reason the constitution then uh, after uh, uh, amendment empowered both the state as well as uh, uh, central government to simultaneously tax on a same product at the same time that is why constitution was amended before the implementation of gst now taxes so what are the types of taxes in our country we have heard of lot of taxes property tax municipal tax stamp duties uh, road tax uh, customs uh, and a uh, lot of taxes are uh, prevalent in this country so some are exclusively under the control of central government some are exclusively under the control of state government and uh, some are direct taxes in nature some are indirect taxes in nature so there are variety of taxes now the various types of taxes levied by these governments are divided into broad categories that is direct and indirect taxes so we from the word direct itself we can find out that there is a nexus between the government and the taxpayer directly what about indirect taxes the tax is collected from the consumer but it is reaching the government indirectly through various chains so with regard to direct tax there is direct connection between the government and the consumer and whereas with regard to indirect tax from the consumer there is a, another person who is collecting and that person is only depositing it to the treasury of the government so indirectly the uh, taxes which is collected from the consumer reaches to the government so for example let us take for instance direct tax the um very common example for direct tax is income tax so what about income tax so we suppose we want to pay the tax to the government what do we do we have to log on to the net banking select the assessment year select our pan number select the tax to be paid select the particular head of in, uh, the tax and then pay it to the government so directly we are paying to the um, exchequer of the government directly we are paying to the treasury of the government so by using our pan number we can pay directly to the uh, government so the that is why it is called direct tax income tax is a direct tax directly from the end consumer it is being paid let us take indirect taxes how about indirect taxes for example with regard to indirect taxes let us say uh, gst so there is a person who is buying a product from a, a retail shop so the if the, uh, the consumer when he is buying the product along with the price of the product he is paying for the taxes also the tax is collected by the shopkeeper and then five Finally, it is being uh, remitted to the government uh, through various hands. So, though the consumer is paying for the product along with the taxes, he is not directly paying to the government's treasury. He is uh, paying to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper in turn pays it to the government. So, there is an intermediary between the consumer as well as the government. But finally, the uh, tax is reaching the hands of the government. So, that is a major difference between direct and indirect taxes. So, direct tax in that income tax comes and. direct tax gst customs everything will come there so next 
is the source of income tax law in India. So the income tax is one of the oldest taxes in the country. So uh, it, it periodically it has gone lot of amendments depending upon the current scenarios. So the Income Bar Act has undergone lot of changes from its inception till date. So the government is also working on a, a new a, a new Income Tax Act to replace the existing one. So it will be implemented uh, in a short way. So after discussion and after the draft uh, is being discussed with everybody, the government will implement the new Income Tax Act because the existing income tax is very old in nature and it had undergone lot of uh, changes in the form of amendments. So the government plans to revamp it, uh, revamp the Income Tax Act uh, to the uh, latest uh, trends in this country.